What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I am so hot. <laughs> oh my god, it is a heat wave going on. Uh, in case <clears throat> all of you believe that in Canada we're always cold, that is not true. Today has a feels like, which means like the humidity temperature feels like 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, nope, 46 degrees Celsius. I remembered Fahrenheit in my head because I looked it up uh, and it's like 118 degrees Fahrenheit. I wanna die, it is so hot. My house, the air conditioning, hasn't been able to turn off in like 24 or 48 hours because it's just so hot out. It is oppressive. The moment you open the front door, you're just like, Ooh. basically we're just swimming in the devil's armpit. <laughs> But that is not gonna stop me from going and making these videos. In fact, it wants, makes me wanna make them more because I don't wanna go outside. So I'm not gonna. And instead, I'm gonna talk about this pen right here. This is the Wancher Dream Pen. Um, it's the one that they had on Kickstarter, oh God, a million years ago now. Um, this is the second fountain pen related thing that I have backed on um, Kickstarter. The first was the Hippo Noto, uh, which eventually I will do a review on as well. Um, as with virtually everything Kickstarter related, this was delayed um, by I think like six to eight months or something like that, which isn't too bad in the scheme of Kickstarter. The Hippo Noto was delayed by like almost a year. So um, that's not too, too bad, but this is the final product that arrived. Um, it is just a straight lace cigar pen, nothing uh, adorning it. I have the uh, like Tamanaki finish or however you want to pronounce that. Um, so Yurushi, for those of you who don't know, um, basically this is like an ebonite pen that has like just hundreds of, of layers of Yurushi lacquer put on top. Um, and that is done by artisans. It's done by hand. Um, so somebody in Japan who's been doing this for years and 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 years, 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 longer than I've been alive probably, <laughs> um, literally sits there every day and paints a coat of lacquer on it. Um, both the, the um, cap and the body. Uh, as well as the grip section. Um, so somebody has to do that every day, just day after day after day after day after day. So that does limit the um, amount that they can produce. So you can purchase this pen still um, on Wancher's website, um, which is I think just uh, wancherpen.com. I really wanna pronounce it Wancher, but I know everyone else in their reviews have been calling it Wancher. It just sounds wrong in my head. But anyways, you can still purchase it. It's 450 US dollars for Canadians. It turns out to 588. Um, when it was on Kickstarter, I think I ended up paying 450 roughly Canadian dollars. I think. It's been a long, long, long time since I bought this uh, on Kickstarter. Um, the price is a little bit high, but um, you get a Yurushi lacquer finish. Um, a pretty decent, uh, like job too. Like this is really well done, really well done. That said, the 450 price point is not with any of the extra premiums. So that's with a steel nib and a plastic feed. If you want to upgrade to a gold nib with a ebonite feed, um, that will cost you more. I believe the ebonite feed, um, if you want a black ebonite feed, it's an extra $40 Canadian. Um, if, it's, if you want a red ebonite feed, which I have on this pen, it's an extra $50 Canadian. Um, the nib, I can't remember exactly how much extra that is, but I, I think it's less than $100 Canadian. Um, but it still, it, it brings the price up. Uh, for the True Yurushi, I believe that this should automatically come with a gold nib. I don't think you should have to upgrade to that. That's obviously up to Wancher, Wancher. Um, it's not up to us, but that's just how I feel about it. Um, but anyways, onto the pen. <laughs> so the finish is stunning. Um, what I love about it is that the more you look at it 
and I'm sorry because you're not gonna be able to see this on video very well. I'll try my best to capture it, but there's just so much uh, difference in the in the way that it's been put down. Like you really do see a, a depth of the layers here. Um, it feels so smooth in my hand. Um, and I just, I love, 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 love the finish. This is the first Yurushi pen I've ever owned. Um, it's not the one I've, first one I've ever used, but it is the first one I've ever owned. And it's definitely one of my go-to pens, which spoiler alert, <laughs> will probably be the next video that comes out, um, is my go-to pens. It is a cartridge converter fountain pen, um, which Wancher provides. Um, there's a little uh, Wancher logo here on the, um, part that the, the converter goes into, um, which I think is a really cute detail. Um, the grip section is a little short, so my thumb does end up resting on this step, which is fairly pronounced, um, but it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I think because it, it rests and it ends up resting like almost completely on the body and not necessarily the step with the threads, um, because you do notice it. It's not sharp or anything, but it's a pretty decent step. Um, so if you have your thumb right in the middle of that, that might bother you. Um, so just something to be aware of. The nib that I have is a 14 karat fine nib. Uh, fun fact, I actually ordered a different nib, but with their um, production quality, um, they were having issues with the 18 carats that I actually originally ordered. Um, so this is what I ended up getting, but it writes phenomenally. Um, it's an ebonite feed. This one happens to be red, um, but like I said, you can get black as well. Um, and it, it is a stunner of a pen. It writes really well. You cannot post it, um, but I don't recommend it even if you could. Um, and it is got a little seal on the inside. So if you're at all familiar with um, Platinum's uh, Century 3776 with that little uh, seal on the inside, it makes it slightly spring-loaded. Um, so it does seal it up pretty darn well. Um, and the threads seem pretty smooth when you're, when you're turning the, the pen in and out. So overall, I really, really like it. Um, if I could change anything, it probably would be that step. I'd like it to be a little bit more narrow um, and not quite so noticeable um, and maybe a slightly longer grip section. But that said, um, I really like the fact that the pen is slightly oversized um, so it fits in really well. Um, for this pen, I wish that the gold nib came standard uh, for the price that it is, but I would still recommend it, um, especially if you've never had a Yurushi pen before. Um, this is probably one of the lesser expensive ones that you could really get into. So let's flip the camera around and I'll show you how this bad boy writes. All right, so we got the usual quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is the Wancher Dream Pen in fine nib, 14K. It writes really, really well. I've never had any issues with it. Uh, I've had more issues with my camera focusing than this pen. Um, so it writes really, really well. It's a relatively wet pen. Um, it's got an ebonite feed, so it, it's just super well tuned. Um, this nib is really, really, really great, actually. I very much like it. Um, you get a little tiny bit of line variation if you push it, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's not meant to. One thing that Wancher does claim a lot is that you can, you know, reverse write with these pens. I don't really see it. I mean, you can, but it is like super dry and it's not scratchy, but it's not comfortable, uh, probably because it's so dry, but you could if you, if you needed to push it. Um, I've never had any problems with like hard starts or, you know, skips, nothing like that. The only itty bitty little thing is that you'll notice here, if I can get this to focus, um, when you first start writing, um, the first word is going to be super saturated, um, and then you'll, you'll go through whatever's stored up in the feed, and then you'll get the rest of the true writing. Um, this ink, oh, what is this ink? Oh, I just got pen on me. This ink is Marsala 
um, from Ferris Wheel something or other. Like it's a, it's a sample that I, I got, Ferris Wheel candy or something. Um, I really actually like this ink. I don't know if I'd purchase it just because it's like such a huge bottle, but I actually really, really dig it. Um, almost as much as I dig this pen. This pen is wonderful. I highly, highly, highly recommend. If you can grab it, definitely, definitely do it. Um, and what I also recommend a lot is hitting that subscribe button. Uh, I make videos every Monday and Tuesday with the odd Q&A in between. Uh, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.